Hey there guys, it's Kage Attack coming at you for another one of our comparison videos in terms of for the Blood God, for Rask, how, how we did in this one. And yeah, I don't know about this one. I mean, I, I like the unit. It looks cool, but with the trajectory of things, I didn't put too much into this one. I did farm a bit, but we'll we'll go over that just to just to give you an idea here. Like as you can see, I got this guy set up to red two. I put in a total of ten dollars this time. I only did the one the one offer. I only did the one energy offer once. I didn't do any of the extra black stones for extra metals. I didn't do the second one here, so for 10 bucks, I essentially got an Epic 2. Not bad. And again, I haven't even really leveled him up or did anything. Heck, I, I was so lazy on this one, I didn't even do the Requisition mission to get him the 15k damage. <laughs> I was just like, eh, eh, yeah. I've got other stuff I've been focusing on. And of course, now with Guild War, I'll probably level him up somewhat and use him because, you know, you need every unit you can get your hands on, at least a bronze one, so... He'll, he'll get some use at some point, but... I don't know, it just didn't... Wasn't, wasn't feeling this one. Mainly because I've already... I guess when I joined, I kind of got sw swept into the whole Admex thing. You know, Tangita, Rio, Actis, and then... You know, some of the Necrons also complement them pretty well. Like Alf. Alf complements Rio pretty well if you level him up. So, yeah, I just wasn't a primary focus here. Although, I was doing like 250 refreshes. But, it wasn't to get this unit. It was to build up as many Bronze 1 units as possible. While farming my other stuff from my main team. Because the game wants me to have, like, 50 bronze units now. Well, not, well, not 50 bronze units, but more like, um, technically 40. <laughs> 40. 40. I, need, I need to have, uh, you know, for, for Battlefield 1, to give you an idea, ideally you want 5 gold 1, you want 5 silver 1, and then you want the rest of bronze. I don't even think I... I, I I'll have to count that later. Maybe that'll be in the next guild guild video itself so yeah 10 bucks on my end I didn't do too bad I can't complain we'll go over some of where my other compatriots have made it to let's see here let's pull up this one uh, so J J J he made it similar Julio made it to a similar point as me he got he'll, he'll probably he probably ended up getting the um, the same. The end, when, once he got the end box, he also ended up with with Epic three here. And let's see what he said he spent. Bought one out of two of the ten bucks deals week one, and one out of the four BS bundles, black snow bundles. Okay, so he he spent thirty bucks and he got the same thing as me. He could have potentially spent less and still got it, but I mean. If you're buying Blackstones and you're not doing the bigger bundles, you know, doing the $20 bundle, it isn't bad because, you know, you're going to get those Blackstones anyway. So, eh, not, not awful. Now let's take a look at a true free-to-play here. Let's see. So this is Mike, and this was before he got the end box. So with the end box... He would have gotten an extra rarity. And and he's <clears throat> he'll get to you know he'll get to end uh what's it called? Rare with the chest. Zero dollar spent and he didn't do anything too crazy. I mean, he's our like free to play and our like lowest level in the guild, so he is pretty straight laced. But the only time he ever actually spent was when we did the Valentine's Day event. He threw five bucks in to help everybody, which that was a good offer, and if they do those in the future, I, I look forward to them because those were good deals. The, you know, something we everybody gets something for spending. I like those. But uh, yeah, he didn't. 
I mean, he didn't push the envelope too far. I'm mean, still, overall position-wise, 35,000. It's, inter it's interesting to see w how many people are kind of active on a day-to-day -day basis because you you play a lot of games, and as you go, a lot of times people will be like, well, this game's dead, that game's dead, doesn't have a lot of players. But then you see here, he's just kind of like 35,000, and... You know, he plays religiously every day, so it's kind of interesting to see how much further down somebody could be who is really casual in terms of the position. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Oh, we got Gwen. Gwen didn't throw any money in, just did all the, the missions. Did she... Did she say how many refreshes? No. She just said that she was a transient for 95% of the event and didn't have a home. That's, well, that, that's a different handicap. <laughs> and, yeah, <clears throat> she's going to end up getting Epic for it. So it's, and she placed 79, 16. So I'd say anywhere between like eight to 10,000 people easily got Epic on this one. Not bad at all. Let's see where our buddy Seth is. I know Seth usually throws some money in. He's going to get Epic 2. Let's see here. So, yeah, so he'll get Epic 2 with the, <clears throat> the end chest. He'll end up where I did, because I... Which... Which isn't too bad. What did he spend? What's you going to be in for me? Bought the daily shipment package, but mainly for the energy rather than the event points. LOL. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got here. Let's see. So this is another one of our free-to-plays. He ranked 20,000. I mean, I think with the event chest, he'll get... He'll get to uh, the next star. It's not too bad. But yeah, I mean, it is. He did bring up a point that's mostly the same for others who didn't buy packs. It seems to start and for all types of events. I ended same rare, one red star with Rio. I just had one more box with the extra stamp from the Guildy pack. Huh. So I guess what he's trying to say is I'm just reading what he he wrote here. This that mainly <clears throat> as a free to play. Generally, unless you like stockpile energy in advance for this event which could hurt you for farming purposes red red one is pretty much your 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 end point which that's not bad for a new unit i mean to get it to red one and to skip having to use a bunch of warps on it it's not awful i mean i know you know a lot of people would rather have have these units at legendary to not have to use any legendary gems on them but with with Guild War, <clears throat> having having him to Epic or you know Rare One, not not awful, not not awful at all. Having him to <clears throat> yeah, having him to like Epic One or Red One, that's not bad. That's not that's not hateful at all. <clears throat> Let's see who else we got here. Let's see, so I should get the Epic 2 start at the conclusion of the event. What did he spend? I didn't care too much for the character, but the $20 Blackstone is just a better value when it comes to... Okay. So he basically... He did 110 refreshes. He ended up at about 1175. I'm, I'm at 825. So... <clears throat> he did a little re less on the refreshing than me. And he didn't do the $10 deal. He just did the $20 deal to get... Some more, some more stuff. Oh, dailies reset as well. So okay, and then we got one more or two more. Let's see here. Who else? Let's take a look. Uh, let's see. This is from Pure Shrew. He's outside the guild. He did heed my call to to do what's it called to give info to see where other people get to. So he's at eleven, eleven thousand. What did he do? 
ended up spending 110 blackstone once because it pushed me to the next tier chest with the leaderboard at the end. So he is pretty light on on the refreshes. Did he spend anything else though? I don't think he did. I think this guy's no, he didn't spend anything else. That's pretty good for a free to play. But that is kind of in line where <clears throat> Red One trying to get to Epic. That is pretty much the uh the threshold. Let's see where Felix got to. Felix is also pretty free to play. I mean, he's just kind of like a guy who does battle pass and, and other stuff. He ended at 3,400 and was that with the end box? Oh, okay. So yeah, he got the so close offer. So, yeah, I mean, free to play, red one seems like the as far as you're going to get, if you throw some extra money into the game, you'll you'll definitely get an extra star or two. And it's interesting because again, I, I mean, coming into this the, the first couple of months, I didn't really notice these patterns or see things either. And now I'm just kind of getting an idea where where people can actually get or shoot for. Because one of the hardest things about these events is, and I've noticed this before from people saying, well. What's the appropriate amount of money to put in to get what I want? And that's not an easy answer. Because, you know, obviously for these HREs, they're also tied into, you know, you're grinding as well. Are you doing a bunch of refreshes? I mean, I was doing some a bunch of 250 refreshes. So we can see that my placement was 825. If I had done all the offers if I had spent let's say another let's let's say I did another ninety dollars would I have gotten to legendary I don't know <laughs> I, I I just don't don't know would have been close you know it, it's possible because I know I've been short of legendary before you, you need a lot to get to it but it is interesting seeing this and it's also it's good to see for the health of the game, too, because, again, when you look at things like this, there's a lot of people playing. And for any of these games, you don't want to be playing a mobile game where you're only competing against a couple thousand people or or you're, or you're in a game where it's like one of 50 servers. That's not good. You, you don't want to be in those situations. And I could do a whole other video and topic on, on that. But, uh... Yeah, this, this gives you a good pulse of the player base and how things are. Let me see if I've got any others. Maybe I have. Oh, Dogma threw his. So wait, let's see what Dogma says. Went three to play this time, but did the 50 to 110 refreshes every day. Didn't finish all the missions. I want to say I got to 17 or 18. And he also finished at, at Epic 1. Okay. So yeah, that, that is in line. He got to 1,500 with his refreshes. So, so it's, that does seem to be the, the threshold if you don't put anything in. I think that's everybody. Let me just double check here. God forbid I show you guys private uh, stuff. Let's see, anybody else? And nope, that was everybody. I think I figured an easier way to kind of share these things with you guys. So... Again, for the next one, if you do want to be a part of it, even if you're not in the guild, for the next time we have an HRE, just you know, reach out to me on Discord. I don't mind showcasing what you spent, going over how you ranked against other people, and to give give people an idea of you know what to aim for. Because again, there isn't really an exact science to this. I mean, they, there are fluctuations. I mean, there's you know you have to take the leaderboard into into account how many of the tokens are you getting on the daily payout how many refreshes a day are you doing are you spending at all if you're spending how, how much is going to make a real impact and get you an upgrade it's just there's a there's a lot to play into it and I mean sure you could do the whole hundred dollar thing and cover everything there but you could still fall short on getting legendary which that's that's another another conversation in itself well anyway with that being said guys we are getting close to a thousand 
for subscribers. We will, you know, start getting some codes when that does happen. I've noticed it's been pretty, pretty code light lately. I was expecting something for Easter. In fact, I'm going to check and see if they did a code for Easter real quick. Just so I can tell you guys to go, go to the Discord and grab that. Yeah, I don't see anything. That's rough. I, I like freebies just as much as you guys do. But anyway, if you do want to help support the channel and get us towards that goal and help with the codes, great. If you don't, you don't have to either, you know. It, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. It, if we get there quicker, cool. If we don't, well, I'm not going anywhere. But other than that, I will be doing another video for, for Guild Wars. Updating my thoughts and, and what our you know next opponent is going to be. We'll probably do that tomorrow as we get close to rounding that mode out. And again, if you guys ever have any video ideas, if it's anything that I feel like I could really jump on and do justice, I don't mind covering it. I don't mind talking about it. Heck, I don't mind debating some of your ideas for the game. I mean, I've, my last video, I flat out said, no, this guy's this thing was a bad idea. I mean, I will be the guy to say no. I mean, I'm not going to yes you guys to death. Just, just remember that. You're going to, with me, I'm pretty honest. If I think something's a good idea, cool, great. I think it's a bad idea. I'm going to tell you why, <laughs> you know. But anyway, that being said, I will see you on the next one. Take it easy, folks. Peace.